Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create secondary supply air system. But first, I will show you how to tag air diffusers. First, go and select one of the diffusers and right click, select all instances visible in a view, and you will see 56 air terminals. Then go to uh, annotate and then click tag all. After that, select only selected objects in current view and then select air terminals tag and click OK. Now all the supply diffusers are tagged. Now above the diffuser tag, you will see something like one eye. So to remove it, go and select the tag and then click edit family. You will see this one eye above the diffuser tag. To, rem to remove it, click on it and then untick visible and then click load into project and then overwrite the existing version and then close this don't save the changes to am diffuser tag now we want to add vev boxes but first we need to hide the diffuser tags so go type vg and go to annotation categories untick air terminal tags and click ok before adding VAV boxes, we want to change the color of VAV boxes. So type VG and go to mechanical equipment. From patterns, override and select the pattern solid fill and the color. See ya. And click OK. Apply. OK. Now click the systems tab and select mechanical equipment. Then from the family, select VAV unit barrel fan board and select size 3 200 millimeter inlet. And then set constraint offset to 310 centimeter. Now Move and put the VAV unit and press the space bar to rotate it as required and then put it in the space. Now when you click on the VAV box, you can see the sizes for the outlet are 350 cross 280 millimeter. We need to check if these sizes are existed or not. Go to manage and from MIP setting, go to mechanical settings, save the project. From rectangular, we have 350, but we don't have 280, so we want to define it. New size 280 and click OK and then OK. Now, as you can see, when we click on an object, you can see the color is blue. So if we want to change this, go to File, then go to Option, and then go to Graphics, and select the selection and the pre-selection to red. And then click OK. Now you can see the highlighted object is red. Now. Select the diffuser and then click create duct and click OK. After that, select equipment and select the VEV box and click generate layout. On the solution type, select network and then click on setting. On the main, go and select the duct type to be Rectangular duct, radius, elbows, and then the offset to be 310 centimeter. For the branch, the duct type will be rectangular duct, radius, elbows, and for the offset, 310 centimeter. For the flex duct type, select flex duct round, 
flex round and then click OK. Now click on the next solution to see what is the best of them and we can select this and click finish layout. Now if you want to see the edges of the flexible duct type VG and go for the flexible duct and turn off pattern and click OK. So you can see here the edges of the flexible duct. Now go and select the next VAV box. Go to systems, mechanical equipment, and put one here. And then now select both diffusers and click create duct system and click OK. After that, select equipment and select the VAV box. And after that, click generate layout. And you can see we have five solutions. Go and select one of them. You have this and this and this and this. Now click on the first solution and click finish layout. Now let us move and place the next VAV box. Go to mechanical equipment and select the VAV box. And I will put it right here. Then, because the distance is a pretty close between the VAV box and diffuser, I will create flexible duct and not regular duct. So, click on the diffuser and select create duct. Click OK. Then, select equipment and select the VAV box. After that, Click on the connector here and right click draw flexible duct and go and click on the midpoint here and we have here the flexible duct. Now it's the time for the next VAV box. Go to system and select mechanical equipment and put it here in the front entrance in the middle between the diffusers. So I will go and put it here. Now select the four diffusers and click create duct system. Click OK. Select equipment, the VAV box, and then generate layout. After you click generate layout, go and make sure the solution type is network and go to setting and change this to metered elbow and then for the branch the same metered and then for the flex duct none and click ok after that select one of the solutions we have we have this and then click finish layout now from systems tab select the next VAV box Click on mechanical equipment and put one here and after that select the four diffusers and click create duct system and then select equipment and then generate layout. Click to see the next solution. We have this one. But before you click finish layout, click edit layout. We need to move this up to here. And click finish layout. Now select the next VAV box and put it here. Select the two diffusers and click create duct system. Click select component, select the VAV box and then generate layout. And then see the five solutions. We have this one, but click edit layout. Select the left branch and the right branch and, and move them to above. Now go and select the three 
the view after that type VG to turn off levels click apply and hide the office building click ok now we need to do duct sizing but before that we need to change the type of elbows here select these elbows and change them to am rectangular elbow radius 1w then click modify now select these two elbows and ch change them to 1.5 w and click modify now to size the ducts go and select one of the duct in conference room select one of the ducts of conference room and click tab three times to highlight all the ducts and then click on the mouse button double click to highlight it as you see then click duct pipe sizing change the sizing method to friction and this will be 0.4 pascal per meter and then the restrict height 280 millimeter and then click ok and now the duct sizing is complete now it is your turn use the same methods and the same duct settings to complete the vav boxes and ducts and here we have finished for today thanks for watching see you soon goodbye